things in the world are falling apart right now and it feels like we're getting close to that midnight hour where the doors are going to close and you're as prepped as you're going to be. If you're feeling like there might be holes in your preps, I'm going to be recommending in this video two books, the two most important books that I would want to have if I was in a situation where my information was cut off and it was just what's up in my head and what I have in my library. Two books to save your life. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Here at our homestead, we're doing last minute preparations to get ready for whatever the hell it is that's coming this winter. We're filling up our pantry literally to the rafters. We're working in the fallout shelter, getting that ready if we have to use it. We're doing all sorts of last minute things because there's a sense of urgency here. Uh, there's a sense that at some point the doors are maybe gonna close before I feel like I'm necessarily ready. So I'm trying to get as much done ahead of that point so that you know when that point comes, I'll feel like I, I gave it my all. I've been doing this for the past 10 or 20 years. So where we are at the moment, I feel pretty good about. You can always do better in every day. We're trying to improve things here, but I'm feeling like we're in a, in a pretty good position. But I know a lot of you guys are, are not quite as advanced as what we have going on here. And uh, that might instill in you a sense of you know concern that you know when those doors close, you know, are you going to be, you know, missing critical skills, missing critical preps that you, you know, maybe would wish that you had had. In this video, I'm going to talk about the two most important books that I have in my library that if I were to lose everything else, I would really want to have access to these two books. If you get nothing else, just getting these two books gives you an incredible amount of knowledge. Now, it's great to have knowledge. It's better to have knowledge that you've practiced. But as we're getting close to that you know, door closing moment when, you know, you've done as much as you can and now it's time to implement things. Uh, you know, at least having access to the knowledge is better than not having it at all. So I'm gonna recommend two books. If I lost my entire library upstairs, I'd be really sad. But if I were only able to save two books from the entire library, it would be these two books right here. They're huge. <laughs> There's a lot of information in these books. One is called Survival Wisdom, Wisdom and Know-How, and the other is Country Wisdom and Know-How. I'm going to talk a little bit about what is in each of these books, but essentially what they are is this one is talking about bushcrafting and wilderness survival. Uh, you know, if you need to move through an environment that is, you know, not your home, you're out in the wilderness. And this one is about kind of setting up a homestead. And these books are so full of so much information. I would say, you know, what I know that's in these books, I, I, might, I might know 10, maybe 15% of what's in these books. And I feel like I'm doing pretty well at the moment. So these are just chock full of all sorts of information. Now, uh, I'm going to get into uh, what's exactly in these books uh, in just a moment. Uh, but I really want to address the idea of how important knowledge and information is. Yes, it's really important to be practicing and, uh, you know, implementing uh, these types of skills ahead of when you need them in an emergency. That's what I've been advocating here on my channel, uh, you know, very unpopularly <laughs> for the past, uh, you know, uh, several decades. People here on my channel uh, generally tend to like the entertainment stuff, but whenever I do like a pure skill kind of video, it doesn't really get a lot of uh, uh, interest in it because people are generally not interested in that type of thing. But skills and information and knowledge are so, so critical. Now, it would be ideal if over the past 10 years you've been uh, learning these things and practicing them. But if that's not the case and you get to a point where you, you just you don't have an opportunity to do that anymore, it's better to at least have access to the information so you can learn as you go. Not an ideal situation to be in, but an even worse situation to be in is to not have the knowledge, not have the practice, and not even have access to it. So we're going to talk about what's in these two books. I'm going to put links down in the description below. I know that both of these books are still in current print. You can get copies of them. I don't know what the current price is on them, but whatever it is, I, you know, these are such wonderful books. It is, it is worth it. It's, it's the, the price of preserving a human life of yourself and the fam and your family, because, uh, you know, the information in here is just so valuable. And a lot of it is the boring stuff. 
that's why that is why a lot of this stuff is so important because it's the boring stuff that you failed to bother to learn because it wasn't all that fun and exciting. So I'm going to talk about what's in both of these and I really want to stress it. It is full of the kind of stuff that people don't tend to want to bother to learn because it's not super sexy. It's not super exciting, but oh my God, it is so critically important. Uh, this is probably the most important book. If you're only going to get one of them, I would go for this. I would really recommend you get both of them. Uh, but country wisdom and know-how. If you're really, this is surviving. This is for how to live. I mean, you have to survive before you can live, but man, do you want to li live the entire rest of your life just surviving or do you want to start making a life and living it for yourself? So let's talk about the surviving one first because you can't live unless you've survived. This is survival wisdom and know-how. Again, links to both of these are down in the description below. And this one covers just so much. They both cover just so much. This one, I mean, it says right on the cover, there are 7,845 uh, useful skills and steps step-by-step -step instructions. And it is really true. The text in these is really small. You might want to uh, get a, a full page magnifier if your vision isn't all that good. I'll put a link down to one of the uh, one that I use a lot uh, myself, actually for starting fires. The, the full page magnifier that I'm putting in the description below is also a really, really, really good uh, fire starting Fresno lens. Uh, but you can use that if, if uh, you have a little trouble with the, the, the the fine print. So survival wisdom and know-how, uh, it, it describes itself as being everything you need to know to subsist in the wilderness. Now, uh, you're not going to be able to, to subsist in the wilderness unless you know this stuff. Just owning the book is not enough. You need to own it and, you know, go through it. Ideally, before you need to know the knowledge, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes you have to learn as you go if that's your only option. So this one here is about building outdoor shelter, tracking animals, uh, winter camping. Uh, I mean, that is something that uh, there's a huge learning curve on that. It's important to, you know, know what you're doing when you're winter camping. Uh, reading the weather, uh, and that is an important skill to, you know, know what's coming if you don't have weather reports anymore. Uh, how to identify edible plants. Uh, and now, I have much better books than this on wild plant identification, but again, if we're just going to talk about two books, the two books that you need, this one's got wild plant identification and so much more in there. And this isn't a, a bad book on that. I just, you know, there's better ones, but we're, we're trying to just distill it. Two books to save your life. Uh, how to survive in the desert, uh, fishing and ice fishing, hunting and trapping, uh, how to navigate without a map and compass. Uh, about th There's bits about canoeing and kayaking in here, tying knots, very important, H knowing how to tie knots that are going to hold, uh, how to administer f emergency first aid, uh, how to avoid dangerous animals, you know, and that can include humans as well. Recognizing poisonous snakes if you live in an area where there are such things. Uh, cooking outdoors, and there is just, there's so much more. And in fact, it's just, and, and there's so much more in here. This book here is just a compendium of pretty much everything that you would need to know. And by pretty much, I mean, that's just the way that I talk because I don't like to ever talk in absolutes. But, you know, is this is as close to everything that you would need to know as I can possibly imagine. And I can't think of anything off the top of my head that isn't in here under this topic. Survival wisdom and know-how. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. To be able to survive, to get to the point where you can start living your life on a homestead. We here have started our homestead. Uh, you know, we've been working on this for, like I said, 10 or 20 years. It would be best if you had been doing this kind of thing for a while, if you ever need to live that lifestyle. But if you haven't been, the next best thing is to at least know how to start. And this book is going to get you going. Uh, this one it describes itself uh, as everything you need to know to live off the land. Not survive off the land, live off the land. To make a real life that you can enjoy. Uh, this one here uh, describes it as having uh, 8,167 useful skills and step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. Uh, there's almost 2,000 uh, illustrations and diagrams and photographs in here. Really, really great book. And, I, and it, it is just a a really diverse mix of all the different things uh, that you would want to know to live off the land and live a, a life worth living off the land. Uh, and here's just a sampling. They talk about attracting hummingbirds. I think these are alphabetical. Attracting hummingbirds, uh, baking uh, a basic bread, breeding livestock, building homebrew equipment. <laughs> I was actually uh, checking that out just earlier today. It's all about, uh, not not because I'm doing it, but uh, I was just flipping through the book um, and uh, I was like, oh wow, you could, they tell you how to make wine and beer in this book too. There's information about how to make uh, chairs out of cane, uh, you know, kind of wicker chairs, uh, concocting elixirs and remedies, you know, with 
wild plants that you might be able to find, uh, constructing a chicken coop, cooking with fresh sausage, uh, crafting hand-dipped candles, cultivating a garlic patch, uh, drawing maple syrup from trees, uh, you know, and distilling that down, erecting a pole woodshed, fabricating natural milk soap, uh, farming blackberries, fashioning a gingerbread house, you know, things for your family to help keep people enjoying their life and, and you know, feeling like they're living a life. Uh, growing the best tomatoes, uh, interlacing grapevine wreaths, landscaping bulbs, all sorts of information on gardening. I'm not sure if they're going to get into that right on the cover here, but there's just so much information on gardening, making pulpery, uh, managing a woodlot, mastering wide row planting, uh, per perfecting orchids, pest proofing your garden, pickling and preserving, you know, canning, all that kind of information, producing cheese, butter and yogurt, propagating the best bl uh, blueberries, putting up stone walls, raising a healthy rabbit, sharpening hand tools, stenciling furniture, weaving country baskets. There is just so much information in here. And on top of this, they didn't even uh, mention this in here, but there are, uh, there's tons and tons of recipes in here. You know, you're, let's say you're gardening and you're growing things, you know, what do you do with that stuff? This has all sorts of uh, recipes for, you know, making you know, food for your family, cooking, and it really is as close as I can imagine to everything you need to know to live off the land. If you are in a situation where you are feeling that sense of urgency right now, you know, things are coming to a head faster than you would like, I feel the same way. I've been doing this for 10 or 20 years, and I feel like I would, man, I would love another decade here. We may not get it. You have the time that is given to you, and you do the best that you can with it. If you are feeling behind the ball and you just want to make sure that you cover some bases, you know, with YouTube and all the wonderful information that you can get on here and all the rest of the internet, uh, you know, disappears and you need access to information to live, to survive, I highly recommend these two books. Again, links down in the description below if you want to get them. It's a challenging time right now. It's challenging for all of us, no matter how much preparation you've put into this, you know, right now with these 11th hours that we're living through right now, when we really don't know when the clock is going to hit midnight and we hope that it's not. But, you know, at this time in history, we're all feeling it right now. You know, it's not just you, it's, it's really all of us. No matter how much preparation you've put in, you know, you always wish you had a little bit more time. But you do the best that you can with it. And at this point, it's time to start thinking about like when those doors close, you know, what are the, the things that you would really, really, really be kicking yourself about if you hadn't covered that, if you didn't have that skill. Having these books at least gives you the opportunity in the future to learn things if the door to the information closes for you. That's it. Good luck and thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.